So anytime somebody tells me that they are in the market for a sports car, or they might be in the market for a sports car sometime in the future, that's kind of in the fifteen dollars to $30,000 range, I immediately suggest the Cayman. And that's because I sincerely believe that it is the best value for your money in that range. That being said, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe there's something I left out. Maybe there's questions that you guys have that I don't address in this video. So please put those in the comments below and maybe I'll make a follow-up video if it seems like there's enough questions and things that I forgot to put in this one. So the Porsche Cayman might be perfect for you if you already have a sports car or a weekend car or something like that, but maybe it's a little bit too bare bones for you and you're looking for some kind of upgrade on the interior and the comfort part without sacrificing any of the sportiness of your vehicle. And that's where the Cayman comes in. So you've got leather seats, you've got an amazing Bose sound system. It has cruise control, it has automatic windows. Cruise control and automatic windows make a huge difference, especially if you're coming from a car that didn't have it before. It has all the, the main creature comforts you'd expect from a modern Porsche, but not quite at the expense of a brand new Porsche, obviously. If you're in that fifteen dollars to $30,000 price range and you're looking at Porsches, you've probably seen a lot of 996 Carreras. The Cayman might be the perfect car for you if you've been looking at getting a 911, a 996 generation 911, but you're just not sure you want to take on the risk of a vehicle that might blow up at any moment or you're not quite sure about the looks or the interior, the way the interior looks, the Cayman would be a perfect alternative to that. And it kind of was for me because I was also in that group where, man, that 996 looks good in terms of performance, but ugh, the other stuff around it wasn't so great. I've driven a 996, 911, and yes, it is a much better performing car than the Cayman in terms of power, but the handling isn't that much better. It's definitely noticeable. It's definitely a, a faster car, but the difference in handling between a Cayman and a 996 911 isn't that big of a difference for me to really feel like I'm making too much of a step down. So the Porsche Cayman is also a perfect alternative to all those four-cylinder front-engine rear-wheel drive vehicles in this range. You've got Miatas, you've got S2000s, you've got Subarus, you've got Scion FRS, GT86, all those vehicles, MR2, all these four-cylinder vehicles in that fifteen dollars to $30,000 range, they're all great sports cars, don't get me wrong, I've, I've looked at those too, but ultimately the sound and the feel of that flat six in the Porsche is really hard to beat. Nobody else is making a mid-engine flat six sports car in the same range as Porsche right now. Only Porsche can do it because they've been doing it for so long and they've worked on it and they've perfected it. And uh, this is just another example of that, that Porsche philosophy of persisting and going with an idea and sticking to it and making it the best it can be. Another reason the Porsche Cayman might be the perfect car for you is if you really care about a good manual transmission. Porsche is known for having good stick shift transmissions and this one is no different. The clutch is super smooth, very, very linear, and the throws are very smooth. Feels like you're cutting through butter with that thing. I still have my winter tires on and I wanted to explain that if you live in a colder climate, a Porsche Cayman is actually a really good sports car to have. It's surprisingly hard to find non-convertible sports cars in the same price range as this. It handles surprisingly well in slippery conditions. It's very easy to manage. The Porsche stability management kicks in right when you need it to and it's not overbearing. And if you have winter tires like this, it drives like a dream. Plus, since it has a hard top roof and not a soft top like the Boxster, that gives it a leg up over all the convertibles out there. So another reason that the Porsche Cayman might be the right car for you is storage. It's got a lot of it, and more so than any other two-seater rear-wheel drive sports car that I've ever seen. A lot of cars that are built in 2007 are starting to look a little bit old. And I'm not saying that the Cayman doesn't show any of its age, but I think for most cars in that range, it's probably aged the best. 
Porsche's designs change so little over time that they kind of, by default, become timeless. Unless you're a Porsche fanatic or you're just really into cars in general, most people won't realize that this is a 10-year-old car. So one of the things I hear people talk about when they're considering buying something like a Mustang or a Corvette or a Miata is that there's a great community around the car. And there's a lot of support and a lot of places you can go online and there's a lot of meets and things like that. And I would actually say that the Cayman has a surprisingly awesome community. If you're looking for a car with a community, this could still be the perfect car for you. Facebook page is great. There's tons of videos online. Uh, Cayman Garage has given me a lot of helpful tips and things like that. Um, recently, Supercars of Philadelphia has popped up with a Cayman. I've been seeing some of his videos. Everybody's really friendly in the Porsche community. Uh, I've gone to a few meets and Everybody loves it. Nobody, nobody will give you shit for not having a 911 or something like that. People who like Porsches tend to just like Porsches. The community obviously isn't quite as large as the Mustang or the Miata community, and certainly not as big as the Corvette community. But that being said, there's definitely a community there. There's tons of support online. So if having a community is important to your car buying decision, the Cayman should not be counted out. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you leave a comment if there's something else you'd like me to touch on in a future follow-up video. And make sure you hit that like button if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.